Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing diseases associated with heart and today's topic is going to be hypertensive heart diseases. Okay. Now as the name indicates, this is the consequence of um, uh, hypertension. So hypertensive heart disease is a consequence of increased demands placed on the heart by hypertension. So because the heart has to push the blood, particularly the left ventricle, is to push the blood in the aorta and if there is aortic uh, thickening of the valves which means uh, narrowing of the lumen which is what happens in hypertension so now what we are talking about is the fact that the left ventricle has to pump against even higher pressure and this is the problem so there is hypertension uh, in the vascular system there is systemic hypertension and your heart has to pump more it has to work more against a high pressure right and as a result of this what happened there is a pressure overload volume overload and there is ventricular hypertrophy so it has to uh, become more stronger it has to go in a more hypertrophy manner so that it can push more blood so that's a response to hypertension okay um, hypertension is common disorder associated uh, with considerable morbidity also mortality and affecting many organs including the heart brain and the kidneys now we know about the renal stenosis in the kidney we know there are uh, you know like renal infarcts or maybe hemorrhage in the brain and the uh, heart is the topic of video today the comments here will focus specifically on the major cardiac complications which are seen in hypertension which result from the pressure overload and ventricular hypertrophy ye dono terms aapko acche se samajh mein aani chahiye kyunki agar ye dono terms nahi samajh mein aayi to aapko hypertensive heart problem pata hi nahi chalega so inko samajhne ke liye ye jo concept aapko bataya na ki the problem is that there is high blood pressure and now your ventricle has a pressure overload pehle ye normal aorta pressure ko deal kar raha tha but now the pressure in the aorta is obviously high and and the heart has to pump more so it uh, go and get hypertrophy so there is ventricular hypertrophy and there is pressure overload ye dono terms bilkul clarity ke sath aapko batani chahiye now myocyte hypertrophy is an adaptive response to the pressure overload i hope you understand this uh, word जो आपके वेंट्रिकल में हाइपरट्रॉफी हो रही है दैट्स एन एडेप्टिव रिस्पॉन्स योर हार्ट इज ट्राइंग टू कीप पेस विद द हाई प्रेशर इन द एयरटा सो इट्स ट्राइंग टू कीप पेस विद दिस ओके राइट हाउ एवर एंड परजिस्ट एंड हाइपर टेंशन इवेंचुअली कैन कलमिनेट इन डिस फंक्शन इन द कार्डिक डायलिटिशन अब आपको सुनने में तो ये अच्छा लग रहा होगा कि वायर यहाँ प्रेशर बढ़ गया हार्ट हाइपरट्रॉफी हो रहा है नहीं भाई मसला है ये जो हाइपरट्रॉफी हो रही है ना नाउ देर आर चांसेस कि आपके जो कार्डियक माओसाइड्स हैं दे स्टार्ट परफॉर्मिंग डिस्चार्ज फंक्शन एंड एरिदिमिया की तरफ बात चली जाए फेल हो जाए हार्ट कंजेस्टिव हार्ट फेलियर सडन कार्डियक डेथ एरिदिमिया दिस कैन ऑल हैपन क्योंकि ये जो हार्ट इतना हार्पर टेंसिव हो रहा है ना इट इज नॉट नॉर्मल यार इट इज नॉट नॉर्मल ओके ऑल दो हाइपरटेंसिव हार्ट डिजीज मोस्ट कॉमनली अफेक्ट द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट ड्यू टू सिस्टेमिक हाइपर टेंशन pulmonary hypertension can cause the same thing which is called the core pulmonal now imagine a heart where ye mai bhi jo baat kar raha tha usme humne baat ki thi systemic hypertension to aorta mein hypertension ki wajah se left ventricle hypertrophy ho rahi hai now imagine if uh, the lungs have uh, any pathology and now there is pulmonary hypertension to jab pulmonary hypertension hogi to right side of the heart is dealing with high pressure so there will be right uh, ventricular hypertrophy and this is what we call core pulmonal so it can also happen on the right side although left sided uh, cardiac myopathy because of hypertension is more common as compared to the right sided pathology okay now uh, systemic hypertensive heart disease the criteria for the diagnosis of the systemic hypertensive heart disease are left are ye uh, abhi tak jo hum sari baat kar rahe hain na that's what it is left sided hypertensive heart disease usme kya kya fit hota hai to pehli cheez jo honi chahiye wo hai left ventricular hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy that is agar ye nahi hai to you do not label it as left sided hypertensive heart disease so ye hona chahiye number 2 there should be a history or pathologic evidence of hypertension hypertension ka history hona chahiye obviously the patient will tell you ki i am hypertensive and then you also see hypertensive cardiac uh, dilatation um, the framingham heart study established unequivocally that mild hypertension which is around 140 90 if sufficiently prolonged can cause left ventricular hypertrophy my god roughly about 25% of the us population suffer from at least this degree of hypertension i don't know what is the statistics for india pakistan sri lanka i think maybe more now clinical features in uh, 
um, hypertensive heart disease what happens clinically now compensated hypertensive heart disease hypertensive heart disease typically is asymptomatic compensated ka matlab ye ki abhi naya naya pyar hua hai nayi nayi hypertension hypertrophy of the ventricle shuru hui hai aur abhi mamla compensated hai itna masla nahi hai right and is suspected only from the discovery of the elevated blood pressure and abnormality seen on the ecg so incidental finding so this is the initial bit this is compensated but when things go wrong if hypertension is not controlled your heart uh, you know continues hypertrophying and then the problems begin myocytes can fail leading to congestive heart failure there can be development of arrhythmias so several things can happen there can be disturbance of the blood supply and you know that ischemia is number one cause of arrhythmia in the heart so depending on the severity and duration of the conditions the underlying cause of hypertension and the adequacy of the therapeutic control the patient can either enjoy a normal life or develop ischemic heart disease can also develop severe renal or cerebrovascular damage maybe stroke um experience congestive heart failure arrhythmia unhone nahi likha but patient can also have arrhythmias because of ischemic heart disease effective hypertension control can prevent uh, all these so controlling hypertension is very important right now uh, this was all about the left sided heart uh, uh, changes in hypertension now i told you this can also happen in uh, you know right sided problem so if there is pulmonary hypertension so your right side of the heart is dealing with the pulmonary hypertension so now there will be right ventricular hypertrophy now call pulmonal consists of right ventricular hypertrophy and dilatation frequently accompanied by right sided heart failure so everything that happens on the left side now shifted onto the right side because of pulmonary hypertension because of pulmonary diseases and this is what we call pulmonary hypertension induced uh, right sided ventricular hypertrophy and right sided heart failure also called cor pulmonal okay so primary problem is within the lung parenchyma guys now right ventricular dilatation and hypertrophy caused by left ventricular is substantially more common but is excluded by this definition so that can also happen now that is uh, a statement which require at least a minute of explanation so now here we go That's the right side of the heart. That's the left side of the heart. Okay. Now there is um, forward flow in the aorta, and here is the forward flow into the lungs. Now what happens sometimes is, okay, because of the back pressure. Now see, there are lungs. Okay, these are your beautiful lungs, and the lungs are draining blood into the left atrium by pulmonary veins. Now, if there is forward problem, meaning hypertensive problem, uh, now this uh, heart, left side heart, is not efficiently pumping blood into the aorta. because of the left sided heart failure guys because you know there is hypertrophy and there can be congestive heart failure now left side of the heart is not working properly what will happen the blood will uh, accumulate it will pool up here in the left atrium and when the blood pools up in the left atrium lungs will not be emptying properly so blood will not pool in the lung and once blood pools in the lung there will be pulmonary hypertension and once there is pulmonary hypertension what will happen there will be more pressure in the pulmonary artery and the right heart will start having problem so right heart failure now is because of actually left heart failure right so you see here right ventricular dilatation and hypertrophy caused by left ventricular is substantially more common but it is not called cor pulmonal cor pulmonal is only called when the primary pathology is in the lungs if the right sided heart failure left sided heart failure ki wajah se hai it is it is still a heart failure in right side but it is not called cor pulmonal okay Now, core pulmonal can be acute in onset, uh, as with pulmonary embolism. Agar ho gaya, uh, then obviously there will be sudden rise in the pulmonary pressures. It can also be because of chronic diseases, chronic uh, lung parenchyma diseases, just me lung parenchyma destroyed hai ya pulmonary vascular diseases. So that's all about the hypertensive heart diseases. Basically, your heart is pumping against high pressure, and if this is happening, your heart is basically. pumping against uh, you know uh, too with too much power with too much force and therefore it hypertrophies it happens on the left side is left ventricular hypertrophy happens on the right side right ventricular hypertrophy okay i'll see you in another video very soon take care of yourself till then